everyone, so welcome back. Today I wanted to do an updated version of the products that I currently dislike and probably wouldn't purchase again. Obviously these are my own opinions and these shouldn't really affect yours. I own a rabbit so these products may be different depending on what sort of animal you own. So I've tried to kind of range the products with like toys, accessories, essentials and treats, things like that just so it's kind of like varied out a little bit so it's not just you know based on toys and stuff. I'm going to go through each individual product to tell you my opinions and my thoughts and feelings on it and just kind of like why I wouldn't really purchase them again. Now these aren't all necessarily really really bad products, there are a couple that I definitely would not purchase again um, for Rose's health reasons but the rest of the products I just genuinely dislike and I'm just not that fond of anymore so anyway I hope you enjoy the video and find it helpful so I'm gonna get straight into the video and start off with this this is obviously a treat and this contains all sorts of things like dried nettle I don't actually have the ingredients to it anymore but I think it's it's definitely a treat by the naturals range so rosewood naturals that you know that sort of thing and I just generally wouldn't buy this again because Rosie doesn't like it <laughs> you know I'm not gonna really waste my money on something that Rosie doesn't eat so um, obviously the contents look really healthy and really yummy but for some reason Rosie just isn't interested in it at all so I've had no bad experience on this you know everything is really healthy and yummy and perfect for your pets obviously this is for animals such as rabbits and guinea pigs but Rosie just doesn't like it so I just I definitely wouldn't purchase this again because it would just be a complete waste of money. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen this product before. This was actually featured in one of my Pets at Home hauls and I'm sure you're all wondering but why wouldn't you purchase anything like that again? And I just found this like the cutest thing ever and I was so excited to buy this for Rosie. This was originally going to be for Rosie's Nuggets because I was getting kind of like bored of seeing the same food bowl that she's had for years. Uh, so I just picked up this one, oh, there's something in it. I actually haven't used this food bowl since forever because Rosie hates eating out of this. I don't know if it's because it's really deep because I think this is uh, supposed to be for water. She just can't stand eating from this, she literally tips all the contents out and no exaggeration, she throws it down the ramp in her hut. So there's just kind of like no need to have a veg bowl at all because she just takes all the contents out and throws this away. So I'm really disappointed that she doesn't like this. I think it's generally just because it's so deep. It's like a really deep bowl which is ideal for water but Rosie doesn't like drinking water out of bowls. So I'm just really disappointed. So what I do is I just fill it full of hay. She brings all the hay out of it but you know at least it's getting put to some good use. So overall I just wouldn't really purchase anything like this again, obviously I will purchase a bowl but definitely not this deep because Rosie just doesn't like how deep it is which is why she just brings all the contents out of it. So this is definitely a toy that I wouldn't purchase again and it's actually from the Pets at Home Christmas range so I definitely wouldn't be able to purchase it now. This is just like the little cardboard gingerbread house thing, I think that's what it was called, something like that. And this would definitely be suitable for hamsters and things like that because of this, which they could obviously um, run in, in and out of, but obviously Rosie wouldn't be able to do that. I just wouldn't purchase it again because Rosie is not interested in it at all. And also she needs regular supervision whenever she has this because obviously the cardboard, if Rosie was to ingest the cardboard it could cause lots of health issues, blockages and could eventually lead to stasis and things like that so that's definitely another reason. It was only cheap so it's not like it's a huge loss but Rosie just completely ignores it so it's definitely something that I wouldn't be purchased in the future. Okay, so another toy that I've gone and picked out is just a stuffed wood roll from Pets at Home. And Rosie's had a couple of these in the past. But I purchased this again because I thought it would be really easy to like kind of remove all of the treat. But as you can see, I haven't really managed that, that Rosie is still able to reach this treat. 
and the reason why I don't want her to reach the street is because it contains seeds and as you know seeds are really bad for our bunnies and they just should be avoided altogether. So I really like how natural the toy is obviously, it's like just a log, just a natural log that they're able to chew which is actually what Rosie does and then it's got three holes which are stuffed with this seedy sort of treat. So obviously this would again be suitable for animals like hamsters, gerbils, you know, all the animals that are, that are actually able to eat seeds. But for rabbits and guinea pigs, this is definitely a no-go. So it's only really small, as you can see, it just kind of like fits in the palm of my hand. But there are different sizes, there's large ones, small ones and things like that. So. I will definitely not be purchasing this again because it's just so unhealthy and I don't really want to put Rosie's health at risk. So the next product I want to talk about is Rosie's harness. Now it's really jumbled up as you can see. So this is Rosie's harness, this is in the style of a H, so this goes around her neck like that and this longer one obviously goes all the way around her body. So it kind of looks like that when it's on and then the lead is just attached. So the reason why I wouldn't purchase this again is generally because I don't use Rosie's harness anymore. As you know she's a free range rabbit, she free ranges in the garden every single day. Uh, so there's just no need to have this at all. Another reason why I really don't like this is because the lead is so short, it's just so short. So obviously if your rabbit tries to hop freely then they're just going to get caught up in the lead which is why I attached Rosie's previous harness lead well this was thumpers actually just to kind of make the lead a little bit longer but obviously we don't use this anymore so there's no need to even have this so the next product I regret buying is again another treat which is based on seeds this is just one of Rosie's seedy hearts this contains so many unhealthy things you can actually see the seeds and the things that she can't have if you look really closely. Overall, it's just such an unhealthy treat. I generally don't really know why I purchased these, to be quite honest with you. Um, as soon as I read the ingredients when I got home from purchasing them, I was just so disappointed. They are a really, really cute treat, but they are quite large, so obviously if you have smaller pets, then they need to be broken up. Just like this one in here, which is broken up in half. So just to make sure that these don't get put to waste, I just throw them out for the birds because the birds really, really love them and they go crazy for these. So they're not really put to any waste, but again, they're not fed to Rosie, so I wouldn't repurchase these at all. And again, the last product that I wouldn't repurchase is not because it's a bad product, it's because Rosie just doesn't like it. And also a lot of the things go missing really easily. I'm a really unorganised person, so I can't really look after things very well. So this is the Living World Teach and Treat. Basically, you put little treats in here and there's like little domes that go over the top. And you, there's like different levels and things and your rabbit has to try and figure out how to get to the treat. It's a really, really good and interactive toy. It's great for enrichment. I actually featured it in one of my enrichment videos. Uh, but overall, Rosie just isn't interested in it, really. She just kind of like scratches and does stuff to it that she's not supposed to which doesn't really make it very useful so uh, I just wouldn't really purchase anything like this again for Rosie because she's just not interested at all. So thank you so much for watching everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know about the products that you dislike in the comments section. So I will see you in my next video, bye!